Hello and welcome, it's Bushwhacker here with another Stationeers tutorial video. On today's video, we're going to be covering the airlock. This system can be a little complicated at times, and I've seen that people would like to see a video of it. So I figured let's go ahead and do it. So the first thing that we need to do is grab some frames. Now, because a lot of these uh, components that you're going to use, they won't allow you to place them on walls. So you need Zero to build G. these frames down here. Okay, so these frames, that is good enough. We can throw those away. We'll need some steel sheets. And we'll grab these and we'll grab our belt and our welding torch. And we'll just, we're just going to weld these one time. Just one time. Because we're actually going to destroy them here in a second, and you'll see why. So we'll go and throw that out. Now I want uh, the power to these to be kind of protected. So I'm going to build an area power control. So we'll grab an area power controller here. And we're going to we'll place this down right, kind of build it upside down here, right here. Okay, so now that we have these frames up, let's go ahead and we can place our console down here. So we just need to build one console right here. And you have to be careful not to build these too close to the edge or else the door will intersect with them and it won't allow you to place it. So we'll go ahead and place our console down right there. So that's all we're going to need for that. And we can actually go ahead and we can build our vent system as well while we're here. So I'm just going to put this vent right here. Place that down. And we don't need the rest of these. This is only a one by one area, so one vent is good enough. I think for every, you know, square meters or whatever this is, you should just have one vent. It empties out plenty fast enough. Okay, now we can start building our pipe here. So as you can see, this is why we need to uh, deconstruct them now. So we needed to construct these frames to at least place that console down. But now it's going to get in our way, especially as we start to wire. So we can go ahead and just destroy them. Okay, we will build our piping out here. Now you have to make sure that it doesn't go uh, this left there because the door will be right in its way. So we will build a corner here. There we go. We'll do a straight piece. And then we can throw these pipes away. And we will grab our gas. So you need a gas tank storage. This gas tank storage will go right here. And then you need a ga gas tank. So we'll actually put this right here. Throw this. I put an oxygen tank in now. When you're playing. Uh, survival mode you'll have to obviously capture that gas but for now we're just going to put straight oxygen in there also we need to make sure that we have a sensor in here so we'll go ahead and put the sensor right here just rotate it up and this is a daylight sensor we obviously we need a gas sensor and that's all we need we have one gas sensor and you know what? We'll also build a flashing light. Build a yep, flashing light here. So we'll take this, face it the same direction, throw that away. And we'll just also build a normal light. So we'll build a white light. Oh, that is a chem light. We do not want a chem light. Okay. It, it is item wall light. There we go. Okay, and we can place this down right here. So we we'll always have light in here. Perfect. Now that all of this is constructed, we can go ahead and we can start doing our wiring. 
So obviously we want to go from our APC, which is where all of, well we actually want power into our APC to start, how about that? So we'll bring power over here. Okay, and now that power's in there, we can have power come out. And then power can come down. When you don't have those frames back there, it makes it a little more difficult to place things down because there's really no reference point. So you may just have to move. So this will be really nice because it will hide all of our wires once we're done here. So let's go ahead, we'll go down now. Actually, we need to go up and down. So we can build a T. Okay, there we go, there are T's. We'll come down here. Okay, so that'll be power to the doors, and we can just finish that up right now, because I know the doors will be fitted right here. Okay, perfect. Now we just need the uh, line to go up so it can power the rest of our equipment. Come through here. And then we need another T. Perfect. There we go. And because of this light will just be on all the time. So now all of our systems are hooked up here. We can go ahead and put our motherboard inside. So you need your circuit board. Oops, sorry. You need your circuit board airlock control. Throw that in there. And then you need glass to finish it off. So item glass sheets. And just throw that right on top, just like that. And then you should be able to just throw this guy right on. There we go. So it's error in config mode. So this doesn't work very well. Well, we have that little slot to the side, which is where that little floppy disk goes. So you simply insert the floppy disk. And then we need to start. Well, actually, before we can select things, we actually need to put our doors in. So let's go ahead and grab our doors. This one will go here and we will flip it around and place this one here. There we go. We can throw this outside. We don't want it. Okay, and then we also want to label our doors. So this is airlock. Now this is inside. And this one oops, is airlock. Confirm. Okay, so now that is completed. And throw our labeler back in our inventory. So now we need to come over to our mode control setup here. Okay, so the area power controller has nothing to do with this, so we need the gas sensor, we need the flash, flashing light, sorry, we need the active vent. The wall light is not going to be part of this. The exterior and interior, there we go, and it's just kind of cycling itself. There we go. And then if you once you're done, you can pull this disc out. And we can place it back in here. So now, uh, because there's no air, I don't want to waste this fuel. So now that we're done, we can cycle through here. So if we were going outside, we could simply press this. And this would cycle through if we wanted to let someone in. Or you can come here and you can click this can click on the little number pad here and that'll open it up. The only problem is right now because there is no air it won't finish so you need to press this cancel pressurize. So before you install this you're gonna need to have your room pressurized um, above 100 kilopascals. So now I'm gonna go ahead and behind the scenes I'm gonna just finish up these walls and then I'm gonna pressurize this environment and we'll run through it. As you can see I've now finished up the airlock and you can simply walk into it press the keypad it'll close up everything's going smoothly, pressure's dropping And it opens. There Zero we go. And then G. if we want to go back inside, just simply float in here. Press the airlock cycle. 
the door will close, the vent will turn on. And you can see as there's more air pressure, the more you can hear. Now I have a little difference in my air pressure that I need to sort out, but I didn't build a very good system and the pipe burst, so. But that is a working airlock. Now, one thing I did learn is that you need to pressurize, so have this door open and pressurize your whole room to about 100 kilopascals before you cycle it. Because if you cycle it, when there is an air in here, um, even if you put a full tank in your reserve here, it won't be enough to fill it. So again, we'll cycle it. You can watch this. Now it might be good to put this console inside of it uh, in case you need to use the emergency override. But for now, it's working just fine like this. So there it is. That's how you construct the airlock. If you guys have any questions or comments, go ahead leave that below. If you have any videos that you'd like to see me make, you can also comment that below. If you like this video, go ahead and leave a like. Thanks for watching. Bushwhacker out.